Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is creating a health bar inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now this will also work for 4 as well if you wanted to but I'm showing it in 5 today. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see in the bottom left hand corner of my screen we have a nice little health bar which you can customise to look however you want and be whatever size you want and you can also change the colours as well to make it more obvious if that's what you are after as well. At the moment my health is at 80%. If I were to press 1, I'm going to take damage and you can see it going down, and if I press 2, it goes up. Now, going down and going up, I set it up at the moment to do 10 health each time, but again, you can obviously set it up with your actual own system for when you do want to be dealing and healing health as well. So again, this is what we're going over today, this is very easy to customise to get it to look how you want and to also expand and build upon to fit in with your own game as well. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. First thing you want to do is you want to actually create the images for your progress bar. Now you don't actually need to do this if you don't want, you can just use a default rectangle inside of Unreal as well, which I'll show you how to do later on and if you just want to do that, you can ignore and skip over this step. But what I did was I went into Photoshop and just created something like this. So I created a blank document of the size of my screen, which for me is 1920 by 1080, and then I'm here. I just made the health bar, positioned it where I wanted so I can get the scaling of it correct as well. Once I had it how I wanted, I put it into a new document here so I can get it just the size I want, making sure to keep it the same size as this, so I just copied it, file, new document and set it to be the size of the clipboard. Once I got this, I duplicated it or just changed the colour, so I have a fill and an empty. You'll notice they're two slightly different colours, again you might want them to be more prominent so have this as darker and this one is lighter, really customise it how whatever you want, but I like doing it like this, so we have a lighter colour and a darker colour for fill and empty. Then once you've got these, you just want to export them, so you can go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG with them both selected, and now you have your two different health bars for being full and for being empty, and we can then transition between them inside of Unreal. So like I say, once you've got them, you want to go back into Unreal and just drag and drop them into your content browser from your folder to import them into Unreal. So we now have them in here like so. We can open them up and see this is what we've got. Perfectly like so. And once you've done that, we now want to actually create our widget and put in our health bar inside of it. And a widget is essentially placing things on screen. So we will press Control Space to open up our content browser. I'm going to right click, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint creating a user widget and I'm going to name this one health widget like so opening it up straight away. The first thing we want to do in here is we want to scroll down to panel, open it up and add in a canvas panel. This used to be on there by default with number engine 4, not sure why they've removed it in 5 because you need it anyway but either way we need to get a canvas panel. In here we're going to add in a progress bar. Now if you wanted to just be a rectangle you can just leave it as this progress bar here perfectly like so. This will work for how you want, we can increase the percent and you'll see this is now working as a progress bar and we can change this to be our health. You can change the colour down here to be red if you wanted, so it looks more like a health bar like so. That's nice and simple, but we want to customise it a bit to get us to use the images we just created. So to do that, what we can do is go to style down here and we want to open up the background image and the fill image. Now like I said, we created a fill and empty. So the background image is obviously going to be our empty bar, so there's my health bar empty, and my fill image is going to be my health bar fill. And you'll notice we've now got them on here. So these are using the images we just created, however it does look a little bit weird. That is because of the scaling. So under image size, you'll notice we've now got 561 by 127. That is the size of the image that I've used. It's automatically inputted in there. So I just want to make the size of the progress bar the same size as the image. So size X, I'm going to do 561, size Y, 127, and this will likely be different for you. But once you've done that, you can now see this looks good and it looks perfect for how we want. I'm then going to move this into the same position I wanted it in, i.e. just the bottom left corner, and make sure to move the anchor down there as well, so it then stays in this position, it is anchored here on screen. So you can think of it the same way a boat anchor works, it keeps it in position. If you have the anchor over here, the progress bar will be pulled over in this direction, which we obviously don't want, so it just makes sure it stays on screen in the correct position. 
and once we've got that we then want to go down to the very bottom and we can increase the percent here and you'll notice this is working perfectly how we want it to. If it doesn't look right for you it will likely be because of the fill color and opacity. So by default it's blue so you'll notice for me that's black. That might be what it looks like for you. If it does, don't worry, just set the color to be white or red. So either set it to be white or the color of your progress bar which for me is red but I like to just put it as white and now you'll see this looks perfect so we can increase the percent this is filled this is empty and again you might want to change the colors to be more prominent for you if you wanted but we've now got our progress bar on screen like so so we can compile and save this but how do we now actually link this to be our health displayed inside of this health bar well firstly we actually need to create our health you might have already done that if you do great if you haven't I'm going to very quickly set it up now so I'm going to minimize this and we want to do this inside of our character blueprint. So I'm going to go to control space, content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. And straight away in here, what we're going to do is add a variable naming this health. And we want to set this to be a float, making sure it is a float, not an integer. And the difference between a float and an integer is a float is a real number. You might have heard it be called that instead and essentially it means it can have decimal points whereas an integer is a whole number it can't have decimal points this is very important for actually setting up the health by itself within the widget for the health in the character it can be an integer but it's just easier to keep it as a float instead once you've created that that's great with it compiled we can then set a default value I'm going to set mine to be 75 just so we can see that it has lost some health and we'll go back to our health widget over here now what we're going to do is click on the health bar, go down to where it says the percent, so that is here for me, and we want to hit bind, create binding. This return value here is going to be the value inputted inside of our progress bar, which we obviously want to be the health. So how do we get the health from the player character blueprint into this widget? Well if we go back to the event graph first of all, to lead to event tick and event preconstruct, and off of event construct what we can do is cast to our character blueprint so for me that is BP third person character so this could be third person or first person or whatever you've named it the object is then going to be get player character perfectly like so as your character so as BP third person character of the cast we're going to right click promote a variable naming this character reference and this means we can nice and easily and efficiently it's the most important thing access our character blueprint in order to get our current health. So we'll compile and save that and go to the get percent binding here. Then we're going to get the character reference, drag out of this, we're going to get the health and then we're going to just put this in here and out of the health we're going to get a divide and we want to divide by 100 inputting that into the return value. Now the reason why we're doing divide by 100 is because a progress bar in Unreal goes between the values of 0 and 1. So if we hover back over this again, the percent, it should say used to determine the fill position of the progress bar ranging 0 to 1. So essentially if you have 100 health, divide that by 100, you get 1. That means it is full. If you have 50 health, divided by 100, you get 0.5. It means it's halfway through the progress bar. So obviously if our maximum health is 100, we have 50. It now means perfectly that we're halfway through. So what you want to do is divide by your maximum health, essentially. So if that's going to be changing for you, i.e. the player can upgrade it, what you can do is go back to your character blueprint, create a new variable called max health, compile, save that, set a default value of 100 or whatever it is for you. Then back in the health widget, we can come out of this and come out of the character reference, sorry, and get max health. Then simply input that into the bottom value there and that will also work the same way and in fact it might be better for you because again if the player can upgrade their maximum health this will then work perfectly. So we can compile and save that. This is now going to perfectly display the player's health inside of a widget but we still need to put this on screen. So if we go back to our character blueprint we can right click and get begin play. If you've already used event begin play don't worry you can hold down s left click to get a sequence connecting that into begin play with then zero going to the code you already have and then one going to the code we're about to do. The code I'm about to do is create widget 
the class is going to be our health widget and the return value will simply be add to viewport. This will now put it on screen. So we can compile and save that. Now if we minimize this and hit play, we can see we now have our health bar perfectly on screen where we wanted it, looking how we wanted, and you can also see we do have the two different colors as I've set it to be 75% full as we have 75 health out of 100 health. So what I'm gonna do is also very quickly set up some code in order to just take damage and heal. I'm not gonna go over it too much because that's not the purpose of this video. However, if you do want a proper damaging system and healing system, let me know in the comments down below and I can make a video on that as well. But what I'll do is I'll leave in what I'm doing here. I'll just speed it up so you can see it. You can pause the video and slow it down, but I'm not gonna be going over it. So there we go, I've now just set it up. So when I press one, I'm gonna deal 10 damage, which also goes over here, making sure we can't go below the values of zero. And when I press two, we're going to gain 10 health, making sure we can't go above our maximum health, which for me is 100. And again, I can do a video going over this in further detail, if that's something that you want. So let's hit play once again. And now if I press one, I'm taking damage. If I press two, I'm gaining damage. And you can see there's now dynamically updating within our progress bar and our health bar in the bottom left hand corner working perfectly like so. Now there's also another method of actually updating the progress bar. It is technically more efficient however it won't make a massive difference for you unless this is maybe for a mobile device or a very low end PC. So you don't have to worry about doing this if you don't want to however it is technically more efficient as the bind on here will technically work off of event tick. It's going to be constantly calling this and constantly updating it. So if you don't want that to be happening constantly in the background, you can just update this value whenever you take damage or heal. So if we delete the character reference health and max health, just leave the divide. What we can do is right click the top value of the divide, promote to variable, naming this health. Right click the bottom, promote to variable, naming this max health. So now it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna divide the health by the max health. However, it doesn't actually have the values we want. So we'll compile and save go back to our character blueprint. Now when I deal damage, what I want to do is access that widget. So to access it, we can go back to where we're creating it. Off the return value, we want to right click, promote to variable, naming this health widget reference. Just connecting this up in here like so. So we're still adding it to the viewport like this. Then back on event any damage here, i.e. where I'm taking damage, I want to hold control drag it in to get it. Then out of this, I want to set health to be the health we've just created there. Perfectly like so. And what I'm also gonna do actually is on event begin play, I'm going to do set max health, setting it to the maximum health I have. And then obviously whenever you do upgrade your maximum health, just update it the same way we're doing with the health down below. So I hope all this makes sense. And so now that's going to automatically update here instead, which is technically a lot more efficient. But again, the other one isn't too intensive anyway. And I'm just going to do the same where I'm gaining health. So get the widget, set the health, and set it to the health in there, like so, which now should work perfectly once again. So let's minimize, hit play, it should be there. If I press 1, it's now working perfectly like so. However, you'll notice it was at zero until I updated it. All we need to do there is just set the health on event begin play as well. So it is there by default too. So the same we've done with the max health, we also just want to do with the actual health. So it's there by default. So let's set health like so, setting it like this. Now we can also just set the default values in the widget. However, they might be different every time you load up the game. For example, if you have a save and load system. So let's do this like so. Now the health is there, we can press one and press two to take damage and heal health, working perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've gone over everything we want to do today. What we've done is we've set up a health bar inside of Unreal Engine 5, going over multiple ways to set it up differently. So it's more efficient for different PCs and different devices, i.e. mobile. I've shown you different ways of customizing it so you can use custom images like this, change the color and all that different stuff. I've also very briefly gone over how to deal damage and heal as well. So sorry that this video is quite long. I've just gone over it quite in depth. I really want you to be able to learn what we're doing instead of just being able to copy it. I want you to learn it so you know what it is that you're doing as well. And again, in the future, I can go over an actual dealing damage and healing 
and also death system if that is something which you'd like. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.